Hello lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to our weekly third party or karmic update. Now, all readings are timeless. So whenever you get this reading, whether it's 10 years from now, whatever it is, um, once it comes across your feed, especially if it comes as a recommended, there is a message there for you. That's your guides trying to lead you um, to a particular um, message reading download okay so let us get into the energies guys and remember this is a safe space people here i just saw a weird card did i god i'm seeing things all right people um especially in the twin flame journey soulmate journey i mean it's all kind of weird dynamics you know life is not always black and white so if you're feeling like you're being a little judgy today, you can come off the channel right now. Because <laughs> this ain't the channel for that, okay? We have the Magus, okay? The Magi, okay? So we have a wise man that's coming through. One of the wise men, right? All right, so... And there's a dragon here. So some people may have um, a dragon totem, a dragon spirit guide. And it's so weird because Steve Noble put out... Um, some kind of dragon healing transmission. I think it was either yesterday or the day before. So if you resonate with dragons, this is definitely um, the reading for you. But this is, what whatever it is, this is someone who is getting spiritual guidance from source energy, right? The power animal representation of source, okay? Um, stepping into the spiritual power because look, the ace of wands, the ace of wands is in this person's hand. So there's some kind of download, there's some kind of awareness that I am a spiritual being. I can manifest whatever I want to. Um, this is like the magician's energy. Okay. Yeah, basically it is the magician's energy. And hold on. Now there's certainly a lot of wisdom um, that this person is downloading right now because here is always a symbol of wisdom and then silver here. Right, um, it's always a symbol. Look, this person's getting this little gray streak. Right, that's not what I wanted to tell you. What they were, what they were pulling my attention to, is the many, is to the many colors, um, on his coat. And I know it, it doesn't look like many, but I heard the many colors, um, and that reminds me of, <clears throat> it's Joseph, right? Joseph's coat, and how he was persecuted, um, by his brothers. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, by his brothers. His brothers were always very jealous of him, etc., etc., and they planned um, to entrap him and they sold him off to slavery. You, I mean, you, you can go and look up the whole story, okay? But there's something here about a sibling rivalry and your person that's coming through. Your person has always been the target of. I'm getting family, and it could even be friends, family members, friends. Who have always been jealous of them and they have always not wished the best for your person so even in this situation with the karmic they might still be supporting the karmic even though they have evidence that the karmic might be abusive or whatever it is they're still supporting the karmic just because they want to see your person suffer i do not know whose message that is but this is a message that came through. It's like being set up. And there's a confirmation by your own family members. Whoever that is for. I don't know. I don't know. But certainly your person stepping into a lot of wisdom. Stepping into the magician's energy. Recognizing their power. Especially their divinity. Alright. That was the, that was the message with the card. Alright. So let's get a significator um, for your person. In this situation we have the victim I told you now they could be in victim mode which is which I which is more than likely it is very likely right they're in victim mode woe is me why is this happening to me and you see when you are in victim mode you take away your agency right so you feel like you're powerless and you feel like you're meant to be there right you don't take action so that's the drawback of victim mode but it's not it's i'm not trying to take away 
from the fact that your person might actually be a victim because the first message that already came out says that your person has been a victim um, of some sort of jealousy, some sort of machination, some sort of underhanded tactics for their whole life. That was the first message that came out. So I'm not doubting that your person is a victim, but there's a difference between a victim, and I hate to say victim rarely, between a survivor and someone who's a victim. A victim is one who remains in that space and does not take accountability for their life because I'm not trying to minimize anybody's experience, but bad things and horrible things happen to everyone. But it's what we do um, with that horrible experience. It's, it's what makes us who we are. It's, it's what powers our evolution and our growth. And I always like to cite my Angelo, you know, there she was, a young girl. I think she was eight on, no, she might have been younger than that. I think she was really young, like six, five or whatever it is. And she had this, um, this experience um, of being raped and then um, the guy, he, he died and then she blamed herself for his death. That's a lot of trauma for a child to take on. But did she let that keep her in that victimhood, okay? Keep her broken, no. She turned that pain into beauty, and that is what is the difference between the survivor and the victim, okay? And right now, your person is being the victim, okay? Let's see the karmic in the situation. I, I don't doubt that they are, they are being victimized. I don't doubt it, but, you know, it's what you're going to do about it. We have God right they are they are in their power right they are in control of the situation they are embodying the divine mask well i wouldn't say the divine masculine but maybe they are right but definitely the, the masculine energy in the situation they are dictating the pace they are the leader they're in charge and your person feeling like a victim right this person's harnessing their power they're wielding their power in their situation this their power might be the pentacles their power might be energetic power. Whatever power they have in this situation, this karmic is wielding it right now. They ain't nobody's victim. They're wielding it right now. So let us get some cards on this. Spirit, why are you showing us this victim card? F for the DM. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So they are, I'm not, let us, okay. I'm going to use the word choosing because remember, we always have a choice. Even when we seem like we have no choice, we have a choice, okay? So they are choosing to remain stuck in something that's very toxic. Very, very toxic, okay? I remember the first message that came forward was abuse. Right, from family members and it looks like they've recreated the situation with the karmic so they're re-traumatizing themselves okay so it's bringing up a lot of memories of the past and of the pain so and they're stuck in this pain okay and they're very much showing me tr somebody trapped in this like in this black cage so they're stuck in this pain and they're dealing with this pain by numbing out whether it's through um, some kind of sex addiction when it's through a substance addiction whatever it is they're looking for distraction frivolities right to distract themselves from the fact that they are stuck in this pain but, and I was thinking about this this morning. At some point in time, we have to choose not just to survive, but to live. We have to choose to come out of survival. Right now, you're in survival mode. And you, I'm not going to judge them for whatever they feel they need to do to survive at this point in time. Okay? Whether it's substances, you're overeating. I think I made a post on that. I'm on Instagram. I'm not, I'm not judging what they need. They feel they need to do to survive. They feel they need to do to remain on this earth. I, I'm, not, I'm not judging that. But I am saying there comes a point where we have to dig deeper and we have to dig to the healing and we have to get to that pace where we no longer need these survival tools. I'm going to call them survival tools, right? And where you no longer need these survival tools, where you no longer need something um, to prop you up a crutch. We don't longer need a coping mechanism to get by. And they're not, they're not at this place yet. They are still in survival mode. Okay. 
Now, the karmic, the third party, they are in their power. Whatever power they have in this connection, they are harnessing it. So whether it is energetic power, financial power, um, um, sexual power, what, whatever it is, maybe even physical power for some of them, they are wielding it right now. We have, and that's this is causing a big clash. It's a, it's a clash of powers. Two of Wands. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. And we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So they're quite comfortable right now. I don't think there's much communication going on between these people in terms of, you know, meaningful communi meaningful communication. But there's also a message here about a dysfunctional childhood that this karmic came out of. So they're quite comfortable in this pain. They're, qu they're quite comfortable navigating this pain. This is the upper hand that they have on your person. Your person is uncomfortable now because your person's vibration is changing. See, look, their vibration. Look. Their vibration, their aura is changing. Okay? So they're no longer vibrating and no longer feeling comfortable in that kind of energy. But this is where the karmic is excelling. Right? They are comfortable with this kind of pain. They grew up with this kind of pain. Okay? And it doesn't look like their vibration is changing. Okay? So they're quite... This is something that they know. They can navigate this with their eyes closed. So right now, they have the upper hand. And remember, the hand is raised, right? They have the upper hand and, and they're using it. Now we have the Six of Swords. Let me see what's the message with that Six of Swords. Here they don't want your person to go. They don't want your person to leave. They don't want your person um, to reconcile with you. So if they have to lie to prevent your person, because that's the Ace of Swords in reverse, that's a lie. So they have to lie, if they have to manipulate, if they have to misuse communication to keep your person stuck. In this toxic situation, they will. Whatever power they have, they are about to use this. Or they are using this. So they have to lie, they have to manipulate. Whatever they have to do, they are in their element right now. Now let's check the emotional body. What are both of these people feeling in this connection, this setup? I'll just take three cards. And this is useful because not everybody can join me in the extended. So it gives us an idea as to what's going on in the environment. Although I think we've, we've gotten a lot so far. All right. So how's your person feeling? Well, we know they feel like a victim. What else is coming through? It's not necessarily related to each other. They're feeling powerless. Well, we got this message. We did, right? They feel powerless in their circumstance. But this is a fallacy and it's an illusion. It's not true. They want to escape. Or they might be doing escapist, escapist tactics. Remember where I told you the drugs, the um, all that kind of thing? Whatever they need to escape from the situation, temporarily, they're, they're going to do it. I'm feeling pathetic right now. Low self-esteem, low self-worth. Okay, they're broken. And we all feel broken at some point in time. But the survivor is one that rises out of that brokenness. And as I said, turns that pain into beauty and your person um, isn't there yet. They're still in woe is me. Karmic in the situation. Feeling embarrassed. I don't know about what, so we're going to find out. Feeling very anxious. And you see, so everything, all these control and tactics that they're doing here, again, born out of fear. And we have crutch, so that means codependency um, as well. Let's see, powerless. Yeah. They feel powerless to work away, walk away from the circumstance. Your person might be married or in some kind of long-term commitment where there are financial entanglements. But this is a very shadowy um, setup that they're in. Okay, it's a, it's a lot of dysfunctional, a lot of darkness, but they might have some kind of family. Okay, 
your person knows at some point they can't stay in this they have to make a choice but it looks like there's a lot of financial struggle especially that's happening in the situation a lot of financial upheaval and they feel like they just cannot make a move um, right now so what do they do well they cope And they try to cope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they can't truly express. There's no outlet for their feelings. The true feelings inside. There's no outlet there. Even though they want to bring balance back to themselves. Back to their life. Um, they, they, don't, they don't see um, a way out at this time. They don't see a way out. It's like they've, they've like they've given up, and they're, they're they're feeling really pathetic about it, like they're beating themselves up. But spirit is letting you know that this person has been stuck not just in it's, it's there's been they've been stuck in this victim cycle for a very long time. It's not just with this person, even in their other relationships around them, with their family members, their friends, and past really past romantic relationships, they have always been the same um, energy. Okay, and it's because of their immaturity. They're, they're stuck. They're stuck in some kind of childhood pain. Now the karmic is embarrassed. Why? Look, we have here nine of pentacles in reverse. Very codependent, very clingy, very toxic, toxic shame. Yeah, yeah, they are also stuck in some kind of toxic shame, dealing with some kind of father figure um, in their life or that was in their life. This could have been some kind of abuser. But they're also embarrassed that they have to resort to these kind of tactics. To keep your person where they're at. Part of them recognizes this. Part of them is asking themselves, oh, like, why am I going through all this to hold on to someone who does not want to be here? But their fears. They wish they could face their fears. The fears of being alone. They wish they could face it, but they can't. They have a fear of this person abandoning them. They have a fear of this person moving on. And that's why they keep up this illusion. That's why they keep a lot of drama flowing, trying to keep your person confused. Because their greatest fear is your person walking away. Because they are heavily codependent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's their shadow side. They don't want your person to walk away and they feel like they can't walk away either. Everybody here feels stuck. Again, big financial struggle, right? Mm -hmm. They want to take the sleep of faith, but they too, they also feel bound to the situation. So this is two people reacting very differently um, to an untenable circumstance. Your person, they're going to be the victim and this person's going to take charge. And see what control um, they can um, and they can exercise in the situation. All right, so let's see. Um, what's your person thinking when they think about this karmic? They think about this situation. What are they thinking? Let's have a look. And this is the Grail Tarot, and it looks like they're thinking about flushing us down the drain. <laughs> My mom is with me. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Let's see. So we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is all about this is all about codependency, guys. All about codependency, nothing else. 
codependency, toxicity, um, persons just unwilling to go it alone out of fear. And so when your person thinks about the karmic and the karmic situation, where's the head at? We have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the King of Swords reverse, Aquarius energy. And remember, this is one of my Narcissist cards in this deck. That and the Sun reversed. And... Whoosh, We have the Four of Cups reversed. So what am I getting here? Your person thinks that they're stuck. Okay. Stuck in their circumstance because I'm getting really, um, it could be family pressures or um, they may have some kind of family together. Okay. So what they're doing, they're sacrificing their heart and their emotions to be there. Okay. Because they want to create this kind of stability. But the person that they're dealing with is, is quite narcissistic. Right, I only have two Narcissus cards I was telling you in tarot. And one is the King of Swords reverse and the other is the Sun reverse. And this person, just they just know how to work your person over. They know all your person's insecurities. Look, the card of insecurities here. The Four of Cups in reverse. They know all your person's insecurities. And that's part of the power that they wield. And it's a, it's a psychological power. So your, your person feels stuck. I see this Eight of Swords. Yeah, they wish they could be their authentic self. They want to be their truth. <laughs> they want to speak their truth. Okay, but they're, they're just heartbroken. They're, they're staying stuck in, in pain. They're staying stuck in pain. Yeah, because they are afraid of being alone. They're, this is, the, this is, the, this is the, the long and short of it. They're staying stuck in pain because they're afraid of being alone. So they rather fact sacrifice their heart, even though they know that they want something new. They want to manifest something new there. They want to manifest their total happiness. They want to manifest Ten of Pentacles. They want to manifest a fresh start where they can be happy. They're not speaking up. They're staying st stuck in pain. The Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, and this this person that they're dealing with, you know, they know how to push their buttons and keep them, you know, paranoid and, and stuck in fear. So Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You know, it's all it's all about overthinking. It's about rumination. Um, it's about mental disquiet, right? They know how to push your person's buttons. They know how to transgress your person's boundaries and keep them distracted so they don't look deep within and do their healing. Well, they know they know how to do this. And they work your person's insecurities. Yeah, because they don't want this tower to fall. They don't want everything that they built um, to collapse. That's what I'm getting with that. So, guys, that's the state of play there. Okay. All right. So at this point, um, I usually get a message from your person. So what does your person want you to know? Um, right now, what's the most important message that they want you to know? And it's usually a message from the higher self. We have four of pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the king of cups in reverse. Right, this is the um, covert narcissist. King of Swords in reverse is the overt narcissist. King of Cups in reverse is the covert narcissist. A Scorpio. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. And the Pisces Scorpio energy. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a message from the higher self because your person isn't privy to this information. So what the higher self wants you to know is that this, this tide is going to turn. Let me see if I could get a timing card for you guys. Right. 
but they're saying shortly this there's a shift that's coming for your person and it's a positive shift and what this shift is going to do is to allow them or rather help them or push them to release this this toxic energy this narcissistic energy that's in their life okay your person already recognizes that this is not a soulmate they know that this is a karmic soulmate they know it right so there's going to be the shift by the universe that's going to push your person to release this with that four of pentacles in reverse energy let's see if we get a time and card What's the time? Let's get. I usually get two cards for timing cards. So it's supposed to be in three weeks. Okay, so there's a three weeks coming through. And there's also 1st of August. So somewhere between three weeks and the 1st of August. Um, it's this shift. Let me see if I got a couple cards on those. Ace of Cups in reverse. The Sun in reverse. And Ten of Pentacles. And okay. All right. So this is what I get. I'm getting that your person's going to go through. Um, if they're going through Dark Knight of the Soul, it's going to be like the Pinnacle. Of Dark Knight of the Soul with this Ace of Cups in reverse and the Sun card in reverse. It's going to be pretty intense within the next three weeks. But what's that's going to happen by the time August rolls around? Your person would have already formulated a plan um, to leave some kind of, um, to manifest their Ten of Pentacles. That's what I'm seeing here. There's some message here about you waiting on them. Uh, no. Right? You have to continue um, living your life. Okay? Because you're just going to hold up. You're going to create a stagnant kind of energy, okay? So know between the next three weeks and August, there's going to be an, like an intensification of this energy. And it's to push your person um, to come out of that victim mode and to really take charge um, of their life, okay? All right, so if this feels like your person's vibration, join me in the extended. And what we're going to do there, we're going to look at their heart space energy for the karmic. We're going to ask the ancestors for further information as to what's going on, what we are allowed to see, go into the family deck, see what further information we get there. We're going to look and see um, how does the third party feel about your person? Um, how does the third party feel about you? We're going to get a message from the karmic and it's usually a message from the karmic's higher self and they've been quite on point, I have to say that. Um, we're going to look at what the karmic is hiding and then we're going to look at potential outcome of this connection. I'm um, within a month of you watching this reading, okay? All right, my loves, that was your reading. I hope that helped you. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares. Please sub the channel. Um, they all have, all those things help the channel grow. And if you're able to go a step further and interact with any of the ads, once they align with what you believe, um, with any of the ads that may play during this reading, that's beautiful ex energy exchange for me and any reader that you enjoy. All right. All right, guys. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.